I'm Addie Hummel and I'm one of the leaders of OES Stories this year. Today I'm joined by Anna Blake Patrick and I will be interviewing her about her commitment to play lacrosse at Wellesley College next year. So AB, uh, the first question I have for you is about kind of how did you start playing lacrosse, like how did you get into it? Yeah, I started in I think third grade and fourth grade and I used to play midfield and I loved running around and I still do. And then I played defense and then when I was in sixth grade I switched to goalie because I thought it looked pretty fun and um, yeah, I really enjoyed it too. And what would you say are some of the necessary skills that make success more obtainable in lacrosse? I'd say dedication for sure. Um, it's important to have a strong team culture as well and to know that you're not playing just for yourself but for your team. So that's pretty important. How do you think that OES has helped you kind of foster that team mentality? I think the general class sizes at OES, because they're so small, it's easy to be close with your teammates during the day at school. And also I think um, have, being able to practice after school just about every day during season is really helpful for that. Yeah. And what do you do to prepare both physically and mentally for big games? Ooh, um, I do a lot. I usually um, take a lot of time to play wall ball by myself, either after a practice or just in my free time. I do a lot of hand-eye coordination um, drills against a wall or with my little brother. I pick on him to do that. Um, and then mentally, I think meditation is a pretty, that's a pretty important thing for any athlete. But I think especially it can apply to goalies because that is such a mentally difficult position. Um, and then just understanding like in lacrosse, for example, girls lacrosse, the ball gets through like 11 people before you. So um, being able to kind of practice being resilient and focused is a really good thing. How many hours on average do you think you spend practicing and playing during the off season? Ooh. <laughs> Maybe per week. Yeah, that's that's a tough question. I think um, I spend a lot of time. I think probably um, in the off season, it would be maybe about two hours per day. Um, and that changes. Maybe I'm like working out or like um, just running around, practicing my clears, trying to throw the ball as far as I can with accuracy. Um, yeah, I do that because I love it. So Well, obviously the hard work <laughs> has paid off everyone. <laughs> Um, my next question is, what is your favorite meal to have on game days? Like, what gets you hyped, like, ready to play? <laughs> um, this, I would not recommend this to anyone, but I love that $13 sushi from New Seasons paired with, like, a triple shot espresso, especially if it's after school, um, because it's relatively cheap. And, I don't know, something about cold sushi really gets me, uh, gets me going. Anyone who knows AB knows that her caffeine addiction is Thank through you. the roof. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, switching gears a little bit to, like, the OES lacrosse program. Who has been your biggest inspiration in the OES lacrosse program? Oh, Either a player, a coach, anyone. I think, for a coach, I think Sarah Granite Funk has, um, has really been super inspirational throughout my entire career at OES. I remember when I was in seventh grade, she used to train me. Um, we did some goalie training and I have some pretty great footage of me like smacking lacrosse balls with my head. <laughs> um, but I think she is a really great example of what it means to be a good leader, um, both like as a coach and actually as a player on the field. She was an amazing goalie at Middlebury, um, nationally ranked and all that. And um, she has such a big focus on cultivating a really strong team and being leaders and also just having that awareness that like this is a sport but at the same time th these people are like your family so um definitely her i definitely second that g funk she's the best simply the best she's yeah the best. <laughs> <laughs> okay um how has your coach helped you throughout your time at oes i know this is a little different for you because <laughs> coach patrick is your dad yeah. but how has he helped you, you know, both inside of school, outside of school, with the recruiting process, with school sports, everything? Um, he puts up with me, which is, which is great. I think it's, it's, a, it's a good, like, relationship because it's very clear, like, when he's my dad and when he's my coach. And whenever it comes to lacrosse, like, he's my coach. And um, 
we both love it. And so I think it's always, it's always fun because I couldn't come home and be like, hey, do you want to like go over this play that I've been thinking about? And um, just total development. Like he's always going to be willing to go out and try some new plays with me on the field or like take me to practices for club and um, do all sorts of stuff like that. So he's definitely been um, a really good factor of my, my growth and dedication. And what will you miss most about OES lacrosse? Everything. Um, I think this year we have a really great team. Um, I'm definitely going to miss the new season's trips after school before games and hanging out and um, all of our practices. Those have been super fun and I love this team. So. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and my last question for you is what is your favorite memory from OES lacrosse? Oh, that is tough. I think I have two favorite memories, um, and both of them are when we played like Oswego one when I was a freshman, and that was my first game ever as a high school student, and it was terrifying, but we came within, I think, one point of winning when in OES history, or at least recent OES history before then, we hadn't come within 10 points of like Oswego, so that was a very pivotal game for me, and I think my favorite moment, though, had to be last year when we were playing, like, three man down, was it? Or five. four? Five. Five man down, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it was great because we had a lot of fan support. Um, and even people who'd graduated were there to to watch us and cheer us on, and we, we kept fighting. So I think that was a great moment because it showed that, like, no matter how unfair the game was going or, like, how... Um, awful the reps were or how terrible <laughs> terribly um the other team was playing we still were able to kind of keep focus and play our game well that's all i have for you today congrats on your commitment super exciting everyone should say good luck at wellesley <laughs> to ab she's gonna do great things yeah any Thank last you. words play lacrosse <laughs> come out for season yes please